Converting, that is transcoding or rewrapping files, is extremely easy with Kino. I'll first show you the simplest case and then we'll go into a few more details. First you select the files that you want to transcode or rewrap. Then you open the context menu on them, select Convert and select a preset. Presets are organized in categories. Special categories are recent, where you can find the settings that you've used recently and most used, where you can find presets that you use the most. I select ProRes 422 here. The conversion settings dialog opens and we just click OK to submit this batch and we are done. You can see some activity in the status bar down here. You can either click on that message in the status bar or on the jobs node in the navigator to look at the background jobs we have just started. This is all there is to it for the simple case. Now to a few more things you can do when transcoding a batch. You can specify the output folder and fine tune the output file names using the powerful naming feature. Check out the tutorial on renaming, that explains the details of this particular function. Another thing you can do here is to specify trimming for the entire batch, usually when you have set in and out points in your material. This is great in situations where you have material from a fixed camera at an event or typical GoPro recordings with lots of crap in the beginning and end and you don't want to put all this into your Final Cut or Premiere project. For more information on using the conversion features of Kino, check out the other more specialized tutorials.